Today I've got some new RGB lights and I need a new Facebook profile picture. The last one that I took, everyone hates. My wife says it looks like a Preparation H ad. Let's see if we can do better. These are the lights we're gonna be using today. This is the GVM 50RS. These are the cheapest RGB lights I have ever seen. Now these can work as normal lights just by pressing this button here, or you can drop into RGB mode and turn this right knob and you can see we can create almost any color imaginable. I'm gonna start with one light. I've chosen a nice rich blue color and I've set the camera to 5,000 Kelvin. Now my vision for this shot is for me to not be looking directly into the camera, but me to be looking about three quarters away from the camera here. And I would like there to be a different color light lighting this side of my face here. The first thing that I need to do is position this light a little bit better. I think by raising the light, we could lower some of these shadows back here and also get that weird shadow off the wall behind me. Let's give this a try. All right, let's turn on this next light, see what it looks like. All right, the color and direction of light here looks bad. If you're looking for complementary colors, choose any color on a color wheel and then look directly across the wheel for the complementary color. This neon pink just isn't working. I think we should be going after a yellowy orange color to complement this blue. And then I think we need to move this light as well. All right, I think this is looking much better. I'm looking at myself here on the Imaging Edge mobile app for Sony cameras. This is going to allow me to look off frame but still see myself and see the way the, uh, the colors work here. I think the direction of this light needs to be moved back just a little bit though. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's check out the next light. Now for this third light, I just want it to be a small kicker or hair light. I know I don't have any hair, but a small kicker light that just kind of edges me out from that blue background. Right now with the position of this light, it's lighting way too much of my face. I need to move it back. The color of this light isn't going to matter as much because I just want it to barely show up here. So red might work, but I'm probably gonna mess with this color throughout this photo shoot. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Let me switch the camera from video to photo mode and I'm going to snap pictures using my phone. Let's try another color on this kicker light. To give this image a look, I brought it into the exposure software, went down to the infrared presets, and I love the way these presets make these colors look on my face. It gives my skin this metallic, shiny look that I think really works with these weird colors. And after a crop, this image is done. So what do you think? Is it better than my last Preparation H ad photo, or do I just look like a Blue Man Group Preparation H ad now? Now, just a few years ago, the only way to get colors like this were with very expensive daylight balance lights and gel packs that you'd have to clamp or tape on and then unclamp and replace every time you wanted to change the color. And just a year or so ago, if you wanted the lights to do this internally, each light would cost well over $1,000. These lights by GVM currently cost $620 for an entire kit of three in a soft case with extra accessories included. Obviously the average photographer or videographer doesn't need to create ultra saturated colors all the time. Keep in mind these lights and other RGB LED lights like these can work as normal color shiftable lights as well. But if you ever wanna create wacky blue light with crazy orange from the side, you have that option. 